Hey guys, welcome back to the Age of Petty Kings. We are playing as House Umber, and today is the final episode. Now, I'm going to quickly show you uh, how the world ended up, uh, who established their kingdoms, and basically wrap up the campaign showing you the family tree and the stats, because to be quite honest, I feel like I'm, I've finished this campaign. I don't really have an objective at the moment, and the way the diplomacy is at this point in time in the campaign has kind of made it stale. And um, I think I want to move on to a new house. So there won't be any battles in this game, in this um, episode. But before I get into the stats and whatnot, let me know in the comments at some stage in the video which house should I be to play next. I'm thinking it might be a house rain um, would be kind of cool. House Estamont, or even like a, a southern house, maybe a house where a uh, red wine or even high tower. But first things first, let's have a look at Toggle Foe. Because I'm interested to see how this shaped up. So, let's start off in the Vale. Uh, looks like the Royces are taking over most of the Aaron's land. Um, the Riverlands is mostly contested with um, House Rain, which I did give them these two settlements for an alliance. House Tarbeck in the southern regions. C Crab, but mostly me and Mooton. Um, House Crab doesn't have a very big kingdom, but Tarbeck, Jesus, they've taken... A substantial about an amount of land, fantastic, and obviously here with the uh, the rains on the coast, looks like the high towers are actually pushing against the uh, the reach. Darkland still has Stonebridge and Manda Gate, so two units here. House Volmont and the gardeners are going at each other. House Estamont <laughs> is still clutching on. A greenstone, that's funny, but the Baratheons, or the, what are they called? Dura, I can never say their name. Dura Arians, Dudarians. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck me. Um, looks like the Massey's here as well. Blackstone, that's cool. Looks like the Martell's crushed Allah and the Ironwood, but that's how the world shaped up. But, I feel like I don't have an object, an, and, oh, I don't know why I couldn't say objective. I don't have an objective at the moment, like... When I started this campaign, I only had three settlements. I had Last Hearth and Lake House and Giant's Claw. We, my objective was to get rid of the Boltons. I did that. The next was to get rid of the Starks. We ended up fighting off the Mandalay. Sorry, the um, Sunderland. House Sunderland because they took the Wolfstead, Old Castle and Ramsgate from the Boltons. So we ended up fighting them. We pushed over. We killed the Starks. And then we ended up fighting the Dustons. But once I retook the North, which took a, that took a, that took longer than like expanding into the Riverlands and the Iron Islands. I kind of lost my purpose. I went down to the south and I actually took these five settlements with quite ease. There was only two battles here and here, here and there um, before I took that. But the ba <laughs> taking the Iron Islands wasn't difficult whatsoever as well. But there was a fantastic battle, if you did see that, against the... Uh, the Ironborn King. I spawned up on a hill and I just sat there with my longbowmen and repelled wave after wave of Ironborn advances and my, I only lost 70 troops and we killed 1,700. Absolutely fantastic. Once we sneakily took Orkmont, we had the battle that we sneakily took 10 towers actually, but we wanted, I wanted to play that battle against the Grey Irons. Uh, we destroyed House Grey Iron, we took Pike and Hammerhorn, but the way that House Rain has gone and just made an alliance like we're in a time of peace. Westeros is in a time of peace. There's only other, there's only certain factions at war. Like, I've taken the Iron Islands, I've taken the Riverlands, and I've taken the North. My allies here, the I currently have an ally with House Tarbeck and the Rain, so I've already got a massive, like, there's already, like, a massive Northern Alliance established. I don't have any, I don't want to betray them. Fighting House Tarbeck would be cool, but it's kind of in a fucky situation. It's positioning, and then... I don't know. I, I, I don't want to do it. So, we can't really attack anyone without breaking alliances, which I don't mind doing, but um, I just feel like we, it's time for another another campaign. Um, but I really did enjoy this Umber campaign. I could, we could go for total domination, but I just, I don't know. How, why would House Umber do that? Their main objective was to take the North, like even like role-playing-wise. But uh, this is the family tree. If you're curious to have a look at it, um, Hotha, fantastic king. Um, Hotha died peacefully. It's good to see my king's dying peacefully. The current king, Valon, he has a son, Mors, who'll be inheriting the throne. Um, who's the current prince? Edwin. It should be Roos, Umber. 
But uh, yeah, you're most welcome to pause and have a look at the family tree if you're interested in that. Uh, we did actually start recruiting some Ironborn troops and we were repairing at Old Castle. But guys, uh, Old uh, Orkmont. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below which house you'd like me to play as. Um, I won't be holding a vote, I'll just have a general consensus and I'll take your feedback and then obviously play with the house I want uh, once I've gotten your feedback. I'm thinking House Rain, I think that'd be quite cool. I just want to put my 10 cents before you put your comment in. House Estamont or House Hightower or Red, uh, Red Wine would be pretty cool as well. Even Tarbeck, I reckon. There's a lot of houses I'm interested in playing as and if you guys are still interested in watching us, I'll, I'll continue playing it. Which, I'm enjoying it, you're enjoying it, it's a mutual... Uh, Th good thing going on here. So guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for uh, watching all the way through, if you did. Also, if you've left a like, a comment, a favourite at any time in this series, or you've subscribed because of this series, I thank you. You guys are absolutely fantastic. And I'll be bringing out more uh, Total War content tomorrow. This has been SimC. I'm out, ladies, my friends. Goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. And remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of the day after you've watched this video. Goodbye, lads.